Number 30. You're asked to compound 200 milliliters of metronidazole 5% liquid. How many 500 milligram metronidazole tablets will be needed? A. 10. B. 20. C. 30. Or D. 40. And the answer is B. 20. So we're compounding a 5% liquid. So um, a concentration as a percentage, we have grams per 100 milliliters or grams, depending on the product. So 5 grams per 100 milliliters, since this is a liquid, is equal to 5%. So we're going to set up a equivalent fractions and cross multiply and divide to get the total number of grams that would be in 200 milliliters. So 200 or we'll set up our fraction 5 grams per 100 milliliters equals x grams per 200 milliliters. So 200 times 5 equals 1,000, then divided by 100 equals 10 grams. So we need 10 grams of metronidazole in this 200 milliliters um, to make a 5% liquid. Um, so the question is how many 500 milligram tablets will be needed? So there are 1,000 milligrams per 1 gram times 10 grams. So we have, if we just set that up as a multiplication problem, we have our grams on the top, grams on the bottom, those cancel. We're left with milligrams on the top. So 1,000 milligrams times 10 grams um, equals 10,000 milligrams. Our tablets are 500 milligrams each, so we divide that by 500 and that equals 20. So we'll take 20 tablets to make this product. Thanks for watching. For more practice test questions, click below to see my full length PTCB Pharmacy Technician Certification Exam practice test that includes 90 questions with explained answers. And if you find this video useful, please like and share it with others who may find it helpful too. Subscribe to see more of my pharmacy learning videos. And if you'd like to support this channel with a donation, press the heart thanks button to give me a super thanks. Thanks, I really appreciate it.